Hello everyone and welcome once again to ETGWF, the Euro Twin Games Wrestling Federation. What a night we had at Gold Rush, the eight-man tournament to determine the first ever Euro Twin Games Wrestling Federation champion won by the one and only Euro Twin Games. However, it did not come without controversy as the night ended with not one but two superstars accusing various referees throughout the night of collusion or ineptitude, plain and simple. That being Death's Chokehold and Nick Furious. In regards to Nick Furious, he has been told that while no rematch will be granted, he will be given every opportunity to earn a second match. Starting tonight, when he takes on Andy Yabes and Go Go Garrett in a triple threat for our main event. Death's Chokehold, on the other hand, walking out of the night with the Internet Championship, has nothing to look forward to but whoever his next opponent shall be. Tonight, however, he takes on Mahai the Orange, while Euro Twin Games faces off one-on-one -on -one with Tears of Ranked, as well as our first match, Mustard Monarch vs. Irigoth Skies returning after his crushing defeat at the hands of Death's Chokehold in the first Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, weighing in at 235 pounds from Nashville, Tennessee, Irigoth Skies. I cannot believe that Irigoth Skies has made it to the show tonight. The sheer force that seemed to be behind the grip that Death's Chokehold had on the skull of Irigoth seemed too much. Yet here he is, ready for more action. You don't seem to see any detriment to his ego either after the event. The moneymaker seems intact and he is letting the world know. However, he faces a brand new opponent tonight. And his opponent, weighing in at 240 pounds from Charleston, North Carolina, Mustard Monarch. Mustard Monarch, another competitor in the Gold Rush Tournament, unable to make it past the first round. However, the effort put into his match was nothing short of sublime. And he knows that he may still only be one win away from potentially challenging for either of ETG WF's championships. The same can be said for both of these men, however, so this match is very important. A huge way to start the event. Wait, a... Show of good sportsmanship between the two there before things get started. And here we go. Straight into the lifting DDT there. Here Goth Sky is taking a quick advantage. Heavy kick to the gut. Just hold him up and oh. Just corkscreen him around into that backbreaker. Landing some more heavy shots. Going into the tie up into the headlock. Mr. Monarch 
able to force Irigoth off the ropes to separate, ducking under the clothesline, but unable to avoid that shot. Irigoth Skies has him up, dropping him down. And another stiff shot to the side of the head, picking him up, reversed by Monarch with a big knee, and the step up in Saguri. Muster Monarch trying to build some momentum here, however he steps outside to think about things. That may be a mistake, letting Irigoth catch his breath. Oof, but a stiff shot there. Keeping things in the advantage of the Monarch. European uppercut, but reversed. Monarch swept into the ropes, into the corner I should say. What's Irigoth going to do here? A Tornado DDT off the second rope. Oof, another heavy shot. Oh, this is... And there we have it. The ballroom dancer. He's going up top. It is. No, he misses. He takes the ref out instead, going for the rising phoenix splash, but it hits the referee. And now the tripelte. Mustard Monarch bringing in the triple suplex. Ref's back to his feet in time, and a backbreaker. Both competitors really working the lower backs of each other. And now we have Monarch whipped into the corner. I should say Irigoth, but he reverses, and now Monarch is in the corner. And heavy elbows just raining down to the side of the head of the Mustard Monarch. Irigoth's on the second rope, coming down with the elbow. Ooh, and another stiff shot, and he's going for it again. It is indeed a ballroom blitz. And he's calling for Mustard Monarch to get to his feet. What's he got in store? It's the close-up. No! Mustard Monarch avoids the close-up. And now more of the triple suplexes. A suplex machine. And there's the hat trick. Once again, cheering out to the crowd, trying to get them behind him. But allowing Irigoth back to his feet one more time, and now Irigoth able to instantly take over. But Mustard Monarch with the stiff elbow. The wraparound. He's Got the DDT hit. The Hammerlock DDT leveling Irigoth. Is that enough? One, two. Oh, right after two, Irigoth kicks out. And now Muster Monarch going to the second rope and a rolling senton off the second rope. Oh, I don't know what he was going for there, but it's reversed out of, and they roll over DDT. Mr. Monarch rolls outside the ring to try and catch his breath again. And now he runs back in, just doing everything he can to avoid Irigoth at this moment. Oh, and this is why. Hung up over the top rope, Irigoth going straight for the cover. One. Two. Oh, kicked out after two. Very close matchup here going back and forth. Both men know that, as stated before, opportunities at future championships may depend on the results of this match. What a dropping face buster there. Continuing to work the limbs as well. Another hat trick. Do we have it here? This could be nine. Nine suplexes delivered by the Mustard Monarch to Irigoth Skies. How much more damage must this be doing to the head and skull? He's lifting him up. Oh, but an elbow. Reversing out of it. Getting off the shoulder lift is Irigoth. Throwing Mustard Monarch back into the corner. What does he have in store here? 
He jumps up. Oh, it's a springboard in Sagari to the face. Now Irgoth taking a moment to really let the fans know what he thinks. Now he's going to the second ro top rope. He's going all the way up. He's calling for it. This may be another close-up attempt here, folks. It is. He's going for it. And he hits the close-up. The cover. Center of the ring. One. Two. Three. It is over, folks. Irigoth Skies has won. Well, he certainly showed his toughness there, coming back from the devastating loss against Death's Chokehold. Not just coming back, but having a hell of a match and coming out victorious over a game, Mustard Monarch. Going forward, though, you will have to Keep an eye on the physical conditioning of Irigoth Skies. Multiple times taking heavy shots to the head in that matchup. The multiple suplexes as well. Moving along, however, our next match of the night. We will get our first look at the new ETGWF World Champion. Here he comes. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is scheduled for one ball. Introducing first, weighing in at 210 pounds. He is the ETGWF World Champion, Euro Twin Games. The first ever Euro Twin Games Wrestling Federation Champion, right there. He won three separate matches to earn that right. And despite the controversy that was brewed out of his last match and the reaction to it from Nick Furious, it cannot be denied that he is the champion. Also our first real look at the championship itself. See these side plates there featuring Euro's dragon head emblem. His opponent tonight, however, looking to make a name for himself by perhaps putting an L in the record books for the Euro Twin Games, the new world champion. And his opponent, weighing in at 250 pounds from Biloxi, Mississippi, he is the American Alpha Tears of Ranked. A true bruiser of a competitor here in Tears of Ranked. If there are any weak spots, sore spots left on the current champion, Tears of Ranked will find them. Tears of Ranked found himself facing off against Nick Furious in the first round of the Gold Rush Tournament, unable to make it beyond the eventual runner-up. We'll see if he can fare any better against the champion here tonight. You would have to think if he could pull off the win here, a championship opportunity would be in his future. And the bell is off, here we go. Straight out of the corner, Tears of Rank with an over the head suplex to the champion. Going for a heavy shot, but reversed 
elbow to the gut, and jumping up with some Luthez press. Euro Twins on the offensive now, coming off the middle rope, missing with the elbow drop. Tears of Rank back, however, a reversal, and Tears of Rank goes into the corner. And an avalanche clothesline from Euro. Bringing Tears of Rank back to his feet. Tears of Rank has Euro into the corner. Multiple blows raining heavily on the face of the champion. And a pullout powerbomb from the corner, followed by a stiff shot to the chest. And another one for good measure, straight to the back. Tears of Rank goes for the big boot, but is caught, and an elbow to the knee. Rank, however, stays on the offensive. A hard shot off the corner, and into the Samoan drop. Lifting Euro back to a knee. Another shot to the temple, and one right to the shoulder blades. As I said, a real bruiser here, just raining down the heavy shots. There's a knee to the midsection and picking him up for a big suplex slam. And stomping the chest cavity inward. Win or lose, you do not feel good after a match against Tears of Ranked. The champion back on the offensive, lifting up Tears of Ranked, holding him up, and the dropping neck breaker. Hero dropping a knee into the kidney area. And another. He throws Ranked into the corner, but reverse. Gut wrench suplex from Ranked. Has him back on the offensive. And he hits him with the new meta. That could be it. No. Kick out after one. Oh, but he's not done yet. He's looking to make sure that Euro Twins D ranks. There it is. And the pen. That is it. What a match by the. Oh, no. Euro kicks out after the D rank. And back on the offensive. European uppercut. Going for the T-bone suplex, but reverses out of it. Tears of Rank not wanting to let up here. Wait, he's going for a... Yes, he's got him there. And he can't reach the ropes. This could be it. Does Euro tap out? No. The camel clutch, not enough. And another neck breaker from the champion. And showing off to the crowd. But he's letting his competitor get back to his feet. That may have been ill-timed. But out of nowhere, the TPK. One, two, and he kicks out of it. Tears of Rank kicks out of the TPK out of nowhere. And the champion is frustrated. Heavy shot to the midsection. Nice. Multiple clotheslines. He ducks under one himself. And a power slam. Oh, he's got him held up there. Some sort of anaconda vice. Is Tears of Rank going to tap? No. Knees to the back of Euro Twins' heads. Breaks the hold. And a... No, he's going for a powerbomb. The champion reverses out of it again. Oh, misplaced duck there, but he still manages to get the fireman's carry. And another TPK. One, two, and he kicks out again. Two TPKs, both Tears of Ranked has kicked out of. The frustration and the champion must be building. Another shot to the side of the head. And he's going for the DDT reverse out of a big knee to the midsection. Tears of Rank back on the offensive. 
He's got a double underhook lift him up. Sit down. DDT with the double underhook. My God. A heavy backbreaker. I think he wants to hit him with the D rank one more time. This is going to do it, folks. There it is. And the cover. One, two, three. He kicks out. What effort. Now it is Tears of Rank's turn to just be irate at the ref for the count. And a quick reversal, a shoulder tackle takes Tears of Rank down. Euro goes for the cover. Two. Oh, but he kicks out. You can tell both competitors starting to really wear down. Tears of Rank not able to give up just yet, though. Sending the champion heavily into the corner, but a heavy shot. The champion's still on the offensive with the backbreaker. Bringing Tears of Rank back to his feet. Oh, wait, we've seen this before. He throws him through the center ropes. This is the Hangman's DDT. And it connects. And I think Tears of Rank is bleeding. He may be busted open. And into the corner. What does the champion have in store here? Oh, wait. He throws him out. He's not done with them yet, folks. He zones it in through the ropes. DDT to the outside. The crowd letting these competitors know that this is awesome. And reversal. Fireman's carry. Tears of Rank may be back in control here. But another quick reversal. An elbow to the knee. And there's a backbreaker. Tears of Rank gets tossed back into the ropes. And he's going for it again. A second Hangman's DDT. The first one busted. Tears of Rank open. And there is another heavy shot. What will Euro Twin Games do next? He goes straight for the cover. One. Two. Three. That is it. A second Hangman's DDT is too much for Tears of Ranked. And the champion wins his first match since winning the championship. But what a match in general. What effort by Tears of Ranked. He may not have won, but he definitely saw his stock rise with that performance. question will be who will get that first chance against Euro Twin Games for that championship we know Nick Furious is fighting at the chance to get a rematch however he will not be granted it and he will have to earn it starting tonight so who will it be however after that first look at our champion the next match will be featuring the internet champion Death's Chokehold who won the fatal four-way match to determine the champion and will be facing one of the other three competitors from that matchup one-on-one -on -one coming up very next match ladies and gentlemen the following match is scheduled for one fall introducing first Weighing in at 275 pounds from Detroit, Michigan. He is the ETGWF Internet Champion, Death's Chokehold. And there he is, the ETGWF Internet Champion, the man who in two different occasions during Gold Rush with a single 
hand crushed the life out of his opponents. First, Irigoth Skies in the first round of the Gold Rush Tournament. And then after being defeated by Nick Furious, he did it again to Pavender during the Fatal 4-Way to win that very championship you see wrapped around his waist. And tonight he goes one-on-one -on -one with Mahai the Orange, another of the three competitors in that matchup. He's going to have to keep an eye on the speed and quickness of Mahai the Orange as the sheer strength and size advantage will definitely be in Death's favor. And his opponent, weighing in at 206 pounds, from Dudley, England, Mahai the Orange. Mahai looks confident, he looks ready, but you have to wonder if underneath that exterior there is any concern about what he is walking into here after seeing the way that Death's Chokehold handled two different competitors during Gold Rush. But as mentioned, he will have the quickness and speed advantage, and he will want to use that to get the shots in quick and get away from that deadly grasp. But both competitors are ready. And the ref calling for the bell, there it is, and we're off. A heavy clothesline. Mahai unable to gauge the speed as Death's Choke holds straight out of the gates almost before the ref even called for the bell. Going up for the... And he gets a Hurricane Rana to the big man. That's what you got to do. You have to use your speed. Keep him down. Continuing to work the midsection is Mahai. And another elbow reversal. He's got orange up. And a running power slam. And a wraparound side slam afterwards. The strength of Death's Choke hold on full display to start this matchup. And there is the vice-like grip of that right hand. Reversal there, back body drop. Mahai the orange being lifted skyward by the big man, but he reverses out of this. The grip perhaps not able to grab as much as death would have liked. And a neck breaker from Mahai. He's going to the second rope. He wants death to get up. And he goes for it. He hits another Hurricane run off the second rope. Continuing to work away at that midsection. Now on the arm. Not a terrible strategy. Oh, wait. He's trying to lift the big man up. I think I could have told him that wasn't going to work, folks. Oh, but quickness able to get out of that. And he's going for the cover right away. I don't think he's going to have enough here, but 1-0 oh, and a quick kick out after one. Quick shot to the arm and a DDT. Wait. Mahai the Orange is calling for it. It's the barrel roll kick. The speed and quickness may be enough to get it done here. One. Two, oh, barely a two count. Death's chokehold kicking out. But you have to be confident if you're Mahai the Orange as what you're doing is currently working. Oh, and he's got the Dragon Sleeper locked in now. Oh, but Death able to reach the ropes. Oof. Heavy boot to the side of the face. It goes for the clothesline, but is lifted out by Orange.
death not used to that sort of fall. Giving the orange another chance to make a comeback here. And he throws the big man back into the ring. Wait, what's he got planned here? Comes out of the corner. Oh my god! What a flipping DDT there! The momentum and there it is, a barrel roll kick! We said he was going to have to be quick, and he was just that, folks. One, two, he kicks at death's chokehold, kicks out. I still cannot believe what we saw with that DDT, folks. He lifts him up, showing a bit of strength even now. He is feeling it. Snake eyes to death's chokehold. But a quick reversal and a strong clothesline. Death's chokehold reaching out, asking for guidance from whatever entity it is. And a big running clothesline in the corner. Follows it up with another one. And there is a side slam, building up some momentum. The inverted brain buster. It has got to be over. That is what, oh, but a quick reversal, getting out of the way of the stomp. Just full on, oh, he was just choking the life out of him, but reversed again. Orange, however, feeling a little sure of himself and gets clothesline for his thoughts. And this could be the beginning of the end. It is the death's choke slam. One, two, he kicks out. You have to wonder what Orange was doing there, trying to taunt the big, angry Death's Chokehold. It has not worked out for him thus far. He dodges out of the way of the double axe handle, however. Uh, now it's Death's turn to try and do a little taunting, also not coming into his favor. And what a slam, getting him vertical, the big man, but again, feet in the ropes. Going for a brain buster, not connecting, and a neck breaker. Going straight into the cover. One, two, oh, not even a two count there. That vice like grip back onto the shoulder. Just pinching at the nerves. Oh, he's lifting him up again. Oof, what impact on the top of the skull. Going for a bear hug, but no, reverse out of once more, using the quickness to his advantage. The orange is starting to feel it. Snap suplex to death's chokehold. Getting him right back to his feet. Oh, going to try and pick him up again. He tested his luck too far, but Jawjacker keeps things in his favor for a moment at least. Lifting him up for a side slam. Death's chokehold just like that back in control. The weight of that big man dropping down into a single point. Oof. And an open hand chop to the top of the skull. And he's lifting him up for a third time with the inverted DDT right to the top of the skull. If he hits this, it has got to be over. There is a second death choke slam. There is no way Orange is kicking out of that. One, two, three, it is over. Death's chokehold has won. And as brutal of a match as that was, you almost have to consider Orange lucky 
that he walks out under his own strength tonight. As neither Irigoth or the vendor were able to say that the other night. What a match though. And all that leaves now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event of the evening. Nick Furious said he wants his rematch, but he is going to have to earn it. Starting tonight with a triple threat. Ladies and gentlemen, the following triple threat is your main event of the evening and is scheduled for one ball. Introducing first, Weighing in at 285 pounds from our Scotland, Andy Yabas. Andy Yabas, very frustrated with himself after his second round defeat at the hands of the eventual champion Euro Twin Games, as well as his inability to capture the internet championship. However, in this triple threat, he has a chance to start righting those wrongs in his mind and move up the ranks to a potential championship bout. Introducing next, weighing in at 225 pounds, from San Diego, California, go, go, Garrett! You may have noticed the trend for this triple threat. Each competitor, one of the three, defeated by Euro Twin Games en route to winning the championship. Go, go, Garrett here. A hard fought first round matchup against Euro Twins really showing that the upstart brings a lot to the table and is not to be taken lightly here in this matchup. And their opponent, weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the Perfect Ten, Nick Furious. A lot of talk has been coming from Nick Furious in regards to the Gold Rush Tournament. calling the victory by Euro Twin Games a sham, calling the validity into question, as well as the competence and integrity of the officials involved. Going so far as to even say that Euro Twin Games paid off the referees. The commissioner looked into things as he said he would do, finding no instances of clear collusion and thus no rematch has been granted however as do each competitor here tonight Nick Furious with a win could propel himself nearer to a future shot at the world championship and Euro Twin Games. Certainly does not look like the loss has done 
Much damage to the ego of the Perfect Ten. He appears confident and ready for this matchup. Which one of these three will walk out on top? We are about to find out, folks. Each competitor is ready. And the ref calls for the bell. Andy Abbas going straight outside the ring, leaving the other two competitors alone. However, Gogo momentarily follows him out before rushing back in. Andy Abbas is right back in after them, however, but Gogo Guerra is ready. series of attacks causes Gogo -Go to rush outside the ring and he's instantly seized upon by the perfect 10. Andy Abbas having none of that though as he gets involved throwing Nick Furious onto the entryway. Dropping the elbow across the knee. Gogo -Go Garrett lifts up the big man but is reversed into a back DDT. Stomp right to the arm. Go-Go Garrett now being launched into Nick Furious. As soon as he turns around off the impact, he's caught with a spinning elbow. And Nick Furious thrown over top of the prone Go-Go Garrett, falling to his knees. And now being launched inside the ring by Andy Abbas, who follows him right in. Oh, but realizing he left someone behind, Andy Abbas is going back after Go-Go Garrett. But now both men running back into the ring. Go-Go rushes him into the ring. Oh, they butt heads there inadvertently. Go-Go Garrett just holding Andy there as Nick Furious comes in with the sliding clothesline and the pump handle gut buster to Go-Go Garrett. The perfect 10 is raring to go, dropping a big elbow off the second rope. Reverse out of by Garrett. The kick's continuing to come at Nick Furious multiple straight to the chest now and he pulls back one straight to the head catching the big Andy Abbas in a side effect slam as well Nick Furious rolls out the out of the ring as Gogo -Go Garrett continues the assault on Andy Abbas but it's reverse out of and a big lifting neck breaker there by Andy Abbas and he drops a leg drop across the chest and neck, followed up by a knee. Nick Furious is back in the ring, however, but there is the lifting uppercut from Andy Abbas. However, being picked up by Nick Furious, but he's battling out of it, raining down the elbows to reverse out. And now he launches Nick Furious into the ropes. He lifts him up. It's the Yetus Deletus. Andy Abbas may be winning it right here, folks. One. Two, no! Nick Furious kicks out. And Go Go Garrett back to his feet with a snap suplex, driving Andy Abbas out of the ring. Now he looks to continue the assault. Rushing in, multiple clotheslines. And lifting him up, a big face buster. And the running knee! He's preparing for the super kick, folks. It is the go, go, super kick, but he misses. And a heavy clothesline. Andy Abbas is back in the ring and clean in house, but reversed. The shot caught by Nick Furious, who lifts up the big man, but Nick unable to contain it. Andy Abbas going straight for the cover after the neck breaker. Only a one count. But now he's going for the Scottish Lullaby. Wait, 
Garrett with a baseball bat to the back of Andy Abbas's head. Oh my God, that's perfectly legal. And a neck breaker for good measure. Straight into the cover now. Whoa, oh! Andy kicks out before even a one count after taking a baseball bat to the back of the head. Just continuing to work the neck and head over now. Nick Furious is back to his feet, but Gogo Garrett is continuing on the offensive. He's lifting up the perfect 10, sitting him on the top rope. Oh, what does he have planned here? He's going up with him. I think we've got a superplex coming. There it is off the top rope. And straight into the cover. One, two, no, kicked out of. Andy Abbas not quite able to get there to break it up, but Nick Furious kicking out. And a military press gut buster. Andy Abbas unable to contain Nick Furious. And Nick Furious with a little taunt to the crowd. Stiff forearm, a second forearm. He's really feeling it here. And a spine buster to the big Andy Abbas. Driving him back into the corner. Nick Furious follows after him, laying down the heavy stomps. Oh wait, that one's caught. Andy Abbas with the foot and hand, and he propels it underneath them, dropping. Out of nowhere, another running knee from Gogo Garrett, who's back in the ring. The action in this match is frantic. A quick pin, but broken up by a diving. Perfect 10. Kevin Storer spinning around with the DDT there. Andy Abbas rolling outside the ring. Go-Go Garrett reverses the black. Oof, stiff shot. A series of blows being countered back and forth. Wait. There it is. The float over neck breaker. And the pen. One, two, three. It's over. Nick Furious, the perfect 10, wins the match with the float over neckbreaker. You have to think Nick Furious going to be using this match to further his cause for a rematch. What a match, however. Go, go, Garrett. Andy Abbas, both men, showing great effort here tonight. But Nick Furious, the perfect 10, walks out with the victory. And while this does not guarantee him a shot at Euro Twin Games and the World Championship, you have to think this will go a great distance towards making that a reality. That's all we've got time for tonight, folks. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to follow on Twitch Euro Twin Games to catch all the promo action in the coming days and weeks. And check back here on YouTube for the next event held by ETGWF, the Euro Twin Games Wrestling Federation. Again, thank you, folks, and I will see you next time.